memories I talk Don't know why I sing in a song I don't get it I don't get it Don't see I'm just singing long And it don't make sense I know this My dreams are lucid I know that nine is time That's all it takes to bring me But bring me Sad case, I will. <laughs> I'm sorry. What splash on YouTube? This is the Podcast 101. Welcome back to Listen Nine Blind. In the last episode, we had some unfortunate events. Um, let me look at the book. I'll probably edit that. And Yama was being a big douche. So, if you guys haven't seen it already, you should really check it out. Link will be in the description to the last episode. Um, probably when it's up. Uh, before I continue, there is one person I need to give a shout out to. So let me go to the activity part. Um, all right, Tyrone Sinclair. I need to answer your comment real quick on top of giving you a shout out. You sound very familiar. Someone else I know that I gave a shout out to, mainly because your comments sound similar. But you're not the first person to ask me to do that song, "Zombie" from from A. I, I know what you're going with. I don't know how I'm gonna play that song, but I might. I don't know. Maybe you guys got some other song recommendations you want me to do. Um. I'm gonna put my phone down so we can get on to this. Cray. I don't know, I was going with that. But yeah, so which one do we pick? We pick this one. So yeah, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, there will be a button down below on the bell um, to notify you whenever I'm doing a new update so you don't have to scroll through all this stuff. We've got your music. Oh, dude, I do that every time. I shut my phone off and toss it as far as away from me as possible. Who am I during these lapses? The doctors, of course, have their own answers. It's just an unusual brain surgery injury from the incident. You'll suffer brief lapses during the times of your stress when your memory is transitioning from short to long term wouldn't change anything about you they said you're still yourself they said it's just a little memory blip they said maybe they were paid to tell me that after all no one wants to hear that they could have an uncontrollable alter ego who might very well be a serial killer okay Dama. From what we saw, you did not kill your sister. That's what you're getting at. You also did not kill the other guy. Oh yeah, by the way, Yahoo got arrested. That's another thing I forgot to mention. I know I was forgetting something. Oh yeah, and Yuri left. Because we were being a big douchebag. I mean, can't trust anyone. Can't even trust myself. What am I doing while I'm think while I think I'm sleeping? I lie still. Fighting to keep my mind steady as I survey my next course of action. What do I do? Record myself? Confine myself? Report myself? What can I do if I find out that I might be the very person I'm trying to track? It's not possible, is it? Is it? It sounds ridiculous. Like a half-baked plot from a second-hand book. Stupid. Irrational. Impossible. Just like me, these past few days, maybe I should go to school. I can only snort at the thought, shallow, ditzy little school where I'll receive homework assignments on calculus problems and how Mare and Nori has saved Isamu and a thousand other things that many 
I mean nothing when people are dying every day. Um... That's pretty emo-like, dude. Still, if I lapse at school, maybe someone will catch me. Maybe they'll find out once and for all. I mean, is that a bad thing? Besides, it's not like I have anything better to do. It only takes me a moment to get dressed and wolf down a quick breakfast. The food is sour in my stomach, but I force myself to keep it down. It's gross. Contrary to the past few days, the entrance is packed with students. It's practically imp impossible to weave my way through. I peer through the crowd of heads and catch a brief glimpse of red hair that slowly blots away. Threads of whispers shoot and rapid fire at the sight. Again? They say Haru went. They say Haru went missing. Shoji ended up ended up passing away. Yeah, I saw the news. Can't believe it. I can. We shouldn't have expected it. Expected it. The moment we saw them talk to Irie. Again? Do, do you think she'd do that? No wonder these girls are angry at Irie. But, but guys, isn't this getting a little out of hand? They even aged her this time. You think we're too hard on her? Midori, Toma, Akane, now Shoji, and Haru. How high does the body count have to get before you start believing us? Is she even involved with... You're not taking the side of that. Are you? You know what? Do it, girl. Do it. Side with them. Side with us. Jo join our side. Well, we're not bullying people. My God. Look, an adult had to step in and take your group to the principal's office. That doesn't make me look any make them look any better. You. Hey, no fighting. Oh, it's Musto. Shoved to the side as Masto breaks through the crowd, his jaw taut with suppressed anger. The students immediately quiet down, watching eagerly for another display of their phone cameras trimmed for patter. All of you better quit your yapping and scram. Your little chit chat ain't doing a thing. Now you tell him, boy, despite the fact that he's the president of the honor club. The students know enough that Masato is not to start anything. They quickly disperse into the courtyard. Masato turns to look at me. I'm in the memory that I tried to forget. The argument at the canal. The bitter fight with Rui. It's amazing about what 24 hours can do. All of those encounters seem so distant. To me they seem so distant, dude. Maybe not the fight. Okay, maybe the fight with Masto, but not the Rui thing. Here's Masto curls his lower lip in disgust and strides away. It socks me right in the stomach. I'm speaking before I know it. Masto. There's an eyebrow at me, but his body is intense with anger. I. I'm sorry? I don't know what I did? I want to know why you're so mad. I don't understand. Maso cuts me off, wrapping his finger into the end of his jacket until his knuckles turn white. If you're gonna take something from someone, man, at least take care of it. What? That was the last thing I was expecting to hear. It's glass. Doesn't sound like storming, dude. <laughs> what? Okay, I don't want to read all this context. Or this text. I force myself to plod to my chair. The stairwells and half hallways are congested with nauseating 
frivolous gossip that makes me shake my head. This is disgusting. That is high school, my dear friend. <laughs> or college, I, I would... I assume this isn't college, but I think it is. Maybe it's high school. Or academy? No, we, we went through this in the first two episodes. This is an academy, I'm pretty certain. Anyways, I'm just about to slip in the classroom when a jolt movement in the hallway catches my eye. Why does his hair look weird? That is not Mr. Ryuta. His hair looks weirder. Why does his hair look red? What happened to it? Am I thinking of Masato and his hair together? Am I putting Masato's head or hair with his head? If so, that's bad. Anyways, Sirita just opened the door to the principal's office, through which a number of students are filing. His face seems unease, usually burdened. The most solemn that I have ever seen it. Jiro. Jiro? Five of them. Bullying. Forming the Haraga girl. Again. You understand, Principal. You understand, Principal. Are you really fine with a murder running around the campus? What, throwing some kids into potty mouths, potty mouths under the bus to cover for herself? Look, you guys will address the Principal with respect and you will listen to what he has to say. Next time I see you tossing around that kind of attitude, you'll be packing your bags. Understood? Yeah! <laughs> Thank you. Never heard him so, sound so harsh. The students instinctively back, step back, like he's emitting some dark aura. Miss Rita, how can you say that when, when Haru's gone? You didn't know? He's been gone since last afternoon. He didn't even come back to school for curfew. You smart kid. Do you know to stay? What doesn't matter? M Midori and Toma and Akane, they're, they were inside the school after curfew, but they disappeared anyway. Inside, outside, it doesn't matter. We're doomed. Wow, okay, no, I don't like that pessimistic attitude, my dear. You don't know, not all of them are dead. Maybe, maybe, we only found out one was dead. The other two are missing, okay? And then we got Haru now missing. Sh okay, okay, Shoji's dead. Shoji died um, running away from Yama. <laughs> not Yama. Yeah, Hiko. Bless you, guys, hard. He got arrested already. This is terrible. What's wrong with our people? Why? What's going on? Uh, read them in, Jiro. I'll handle it from here. Last student was entered. He shuts the door. Sign heavily. I said forward to greet him. Something holds me in my tracks. Students from this very school. Gone. Yesterday at death on the subway tracks. Now, Harubunya joins the ranks. I can't trust myself. How can I possibly trust anyone else? It's gotta be the stress getting to me. But I see every familiar face as a potential enemy, a puppeteer in the shadows, moving all the chess pieces into place. Mr. Ruta, something about him seems unbearably ominous. Surrounded by death. Am I the killer? Is the killer one someone close to me? Or is the killer... That meme is gonna get old, computer. Anyways, where is the killer a complete stranger? Everyone, everyone, it's a possibility. Mr. Ryota is intelligent. Flip. What the frick does it, what does flip it mean? What, I've never heard this word, oh my god. All right, all right. Flip it. Oh, not put it. Flip pant. What? Not flip pants. All right, fine. Flip it. 
not showing a serious or respectful attitude. Ooh. It's another word for frivolous. That's a good word. Oh. Jeez. When you notice me awkwardly standing in the hallway, twiddling on my thumbs. Well, well. If it isn't my favorite delinquent. Wow, he says it's such. He searches my face. I attempt to mask my expression. I can't show anything. No, no. Hey, Mr. Ryuta. I decide not to mention the scene that I just witnessed. Maybe it's better if he doesn't know. Kid, you got bags for your days. Days. Going on, going on under your eyes. Have you been sniffing all night? What? I've been sniffing all night, dude. Maybe I should. But I don't have bags on my eyes. Yeah, I, I, I have to check. I don't usually look at myself in the mirror anyway. I don't know why. I just don't. Did he seriously, seriously just say that in the middle of the school? No, I. I was finishing some stuff up last night. I see. You sure you don't want to talk about it? I talked to him about my past. I'm supposed to trust Mr. Yurtsen. I don't know. We got some time before class starts. It's up to you. Wouldn't it be better to run my thoughts by him? He has information about the students that I could never get otherwise. Okay, your office? He just smiles at this. I love it. Guys, you guys do not know, but besides Akira, I loved Ryota. He was my first favorite character. And he still is. We slip into Ryota's office without any hesitation. As Ryota settles behind his desk, he's still eyeing me closely. Maybe he trusts me about as much as I trust him. You're really different today, Yama. What's bothering you? Do I really look that haggard? Okay. I wouldn't say you're that way, but okay. It, it's too instantaneous to be haggard already, dude. I just for a long duration of time. Uh, if you had like five days, then I would say you're haggard. But if it's like four or less, no, you're not haggard yet. Actually, no, it's 24 hours. Anyways, I thought I put up a passable front. That obvious? Again, you're not haggard, okay. Once upon a time, kid, I was also a student. I pulled all-nighters for exams, just like you. Except, this doesn't seem like it's related to an exam. Let's say essay. Exam. <laughs> exams are the furthest thing from my mind at the moment. That's for sure. It's for you to... About the murders. You're still interested in that? I able to keep my composure up, but I managed to look him straight in the eye. It's good, I can't do that. Please just, if you could just answer one question of mine about it. Great. Luck I can see the reluctant, bleh, reluctancy, or reluctance in his gaze. After a long moment, he finally relents with a silent nod. You said that the victims all had some kind of psychological problem. Could, could you look up their connections with? It's a short shot in the dark. But I don't even know if the killer is someone who I've met in, in person. But I've got to see if they have any relation with. Me. Something tells me. That I have to check. I, I, I. It's not Irie. That's that's no, no. It's gotta be Yahiko. Because if I choose Irie, 
might choose Irie. I don't know why, but I feel like Irie's gonna get in trouble. If I choose Natsuki, which, uh, fair amount, could be useful, I'd choose the other first two, the last two, not Irie, because Irie has nothing to do with it. Probably knows what's going on, but doesn't actually know. Maybe she does, but she doesn't kill. I don't think she's a killer. Let me check Yahiko. This meme is getting old. Someone started a club for depressed and troubled students. It was called the Happy Club. I thought that it had the stupidest name in the existence. That club was for depressed and troubled students. Students with psychological problems. Is this really just a coincidence? Is there anything between the victims and Yahiko Ikari? Yahiko. Like, dumb, blonde, friend, Yahiko. Have you gone crazy, kid? What the hell would that did have to do with these crimes? Just... Can you look it up, please? Everyone in my sights is being painted as a potential target. Irene, Mr. Ryuta, Yahiko, even myself. I just even... I just need to find proof that, why, that I'm wrong. Right, well, you're a weird one, kid. His fingers fly over the tablet. I see its surface flashing into a myriad of colors like strobe lights at a concert. He freezes and drops the tablet. It hits the floor with a shrill clatter. What the frick? What? What the? Gingerly, I stood forward to pick it up. The screen is a mash of information, tidbits, and student records, powder feeds, and photos of Instacam. Instacam. Wow. A group of a bunch of teens hang out in the parts, tag faces, tagged as Yahiko. What the frick? What? Hold on. was harassing me Dory with the most horrible back pickup lines and she doesn't like chocolate doesn't even like chocolate what wait a minute he led orientation no never mind that conspiracy it's like the universe has the universe was just waiting for me to dig into Yahiko Ikari so that it could Led me information that I couldn't possibly be coincidental. The common thread is Yahiko. No, this is ridiculous. I reject this reality and substitute my own. I mean, maybe that's everyone. There's someone else in common. Hold on.
real quick, guys. There's a sure night that I can't ignore. And even worse, each victim is getting progressively closer to Yehiko. Miss Ryuta, if this is true... Miss Ryuta? Huh? Oh, sorry. Y you know how sometimes you get so focused on something that, well, you kind of forget about everything else? Does that happen to you? Alton, not you? You seem pretty fixated on the idea that he is related to these murders. You're not serious, right? I don't know. Everything seems like a possibility. It's as if I was stuck in a dark room with only vague shapes and sounds, feeling my way around, and then someone turned out the floodlights, leaving it weird spots in my vision. That have to be hallucinations, but somehow aren't. Hmm. Just the bell, kid. Guess you better get to class. Class? I'm on the verge of discovering something vital about the killer, and I have to go to class? Well, you, you are in school. You, you, you have to, dude. No, I should go. More than anything, I need to cool down, give my mind time to progress. How says the shot? Yeah. Bye, Miss Rita. Take care, kid. All right, I'm gonna really save this real quick. Yep, and yep, and yep. So in the next episode, guys, we will totally do more. Um, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, as always, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye!